it's a very important uh, time for our province. What BC referent? No, I don't think I voted. This time next week, the voting period for the referendum on electoral reform will have ended and British Columbians will have had their say, or at least those who submitted their ballots. Yes, yes, we both did. I did vote. Well, according to the latest numbers, these voters are not the majority. As of Friday morning, Elections BC says it's received just over 1.2 million packages. That's 37% of ballots from registered voters. It's disappointing that more people haven't participated. I think that's the duty of all of our citizens to, uh, to think about these issues and express their opinions. In fact, Friday, November 30th was the original due date, but it was pushed back because of the labour dispute between Canada Post and its union workers. We did make a determination that the accessibility of the process had reduced as a result of the rotating strikes. Uh, in a material way, and, and as a result, we've decided to extend the deadline. While most people I spoke with said they did mail in their ballots, a handful of people told me they did not. Those people did not want to talk on camera. So why aren't people voting in this referendum? People are probably not properly educated on the, the choices. I, I wonder if that they they if they're finding it difficult to make it to understand what the true issues are. I'm surprised that more people don't have an opinion and don't want to take the chance to to use their their chance to get their opinion out there. I, what, I didn't even know there was one. Ballots have to be received by 4.30 p.m. on Friday, December 7th. And while rotating strikes ended earlier this week, there could still be some delays. Elections BC says the best way to guarantee your vote is counted if your ballot hasn't been sent yet is to drop it off in person at a referendum office location. In Vancouver, Isabel Regem, City News.